He's outspoken, determined, and experienced. Tonight's newsmaker is High Point's top law enforcement officer, Travis Stroud, became police chief late last month after serving nearly nine months as interim chief. He's also taken the reins of a department of 307 employees at a pivotal time. And last week, he and I had a candid conversation about it. High Point, like many cities, is going through a transition. This city, known for its vast downtown furniture showrooms, now has, among other things, an ultra-fast growing university and a new downtown baseball stadium taking precedence. And Travis Stroud is leading the city's police department at a time many people have changed their views on law enforcement. Do you think the people of High Point trust their police department? Yes, I think they do. Uh, I think we've had a long track record of doing things the right way and I think that's helped us establish that sort of rapport with the community. Stroud's an authority on that track record. He grew up here and became interested in law enforcement at an early age by interacting with his uncle Larry Stroud, a career High Point officer who retired in 2015. So that just sort of attracted me to this job. I think that was my first real exposure to the job was him. So Stroud joined the department his uncle served and drove his way up the ranks over the course of 25 years to become interim chief and faced the day this past February when three officers were shot during a standoff. Those officers survived. This is probably the worst phone call in the most stressful day that I've ever had in the history of this police department. But Stroud doesn't regret his taking what he calls a hands-off leadership approach that day to the crime scene. He let his colleagues do their jobs. What's the biggest thing you learned from that experience? Trust your people. But he says not having as many of those people he needs is his department's biggest challenge. And I, I try to be very transparent with this. No point in hiding it. We're 24 officers down, 24 sworn positions down. What is the single biggest reason it is so hard to find people to do these jobs? You can look out what's going on across the nation everything that's happening out there. And I'm sure the ones that are maybe on the fence a little bit, well, hey, looks like a great job. Mm. Maybe I'm gonna look to do something else. Those racial and social changes are also linked to what Stroud calls his department's second biggest challenge, enforcing the law when law enforcement's under a lot more scrutiny. It's why for Stroud, transparency's a big deal. 50 High Point officers have body cameras now. His goal is to have 130 wearing them. The department also puts a big emphasis on community engagement, like the department's participation in the recent Nation for Justice March, during which he helped unfurl this banner. And this has been a shift for me. When I was first hired, I was Enforcement 101. That was it. Just arrest people, that's all I do, put yeah. bad guys in jail. But today he believes combining that enforcement with building trust will put his officers in a better position to tackle his department's third biggest challenge, violent crime. At times, all the gun violence overshadows the fact the city saw double-digit drops in most types of violent crime in 2020. Even so, he says, just one shooting death is too many. When it comes to gun violence, what is the number one thing that's going to have to happen to significantly reduce that or eliminate it? I think it's got to be a mindset shift from every part of the community. This is simply not acceptable. We have way too many people that are picking up a firearm and using it to solve a problem. It's an easy way to solve a problem. It is, but that never went through my mind to solve it like that growing up. So in the meantime, he has a message for the people in the city where he grew up. We are committed to their safety. I mean, despite all the obstacles, especially over the last year, everything with the social unrest and the pandemic, these men and women have been showing up every single day, doing their job, and our numbers are down. So that should tell you something, okay, they're, they're doing something right inside this city. As far as violent crime, Stroud says his department will continue to focus on three things, people, cars, and guns. It's focusing on and finding the people who commit the crimes and keeping track of repeat offenders. Stopping cars for reasonable and probable causes. He says just about every violent crime is tied to a car somehow. And getting those illegal guns off the streets.